shows everything we've talked about so far about how they're going to work, right? They have to be released into the blood because it's a hormone. They have to be carried bound to a protein. Why? Just to cover up their chemistry because they're not going to be soluble in plasma. To leave the, the uh, uh, capillary, they dissociate from the protein, they dissolve straight into the uh, uh, cell. Uh, this is rare here. This is more common, where they will either bind to a cytoplasmic receptor, but more often than not, this is what happens. They bind to a nuclear receptor, and they trigger a genomic response. So they trigger gene expression. Then this gene expression is the response. Whatever you make over here will give you the response. So, so they can get into the cell again just based upon that. Um, don't worry about these are real specific examples right now. Focus mostly on the differences between um, hydrophobic and hydrophilic signals. Uh, in fact, that would be a good thing to practice writing a response to this weekend. Is like, you know, if someone were to ask you to categorize the differences in cell response or or, or uh, binding to a protein based upon the chemistry of the signal, you should be able to. Uh, a good goal would be to, to, to logically be able to recreate that one table we had up there before that shows how those different things respond. Where are the membrane receptors? Uh, do they have to be carried bound and stuff like that?